There will be a series of um, Formula E content to explain how Formula E came about and the rules, the regulations and everything about Formula E. To start with, we're going to talk about ABBFIA Formula E World Championship came about. You know, the Formula E ABB FIA Formula E World Championship started in 2014. Now, the, the series was conceived in 2011 in Paris, in France, by the FIA President jean Toth Alejandro Agag, and that's tilt businessman and a member of the House of Parliament in Spain. He's also an astute politician that came into Formula One after he left the Parliament in Spain. Tajani, sustainability and green energy champion. They had this meeting in which um, they were able to convince Jean Toth about Formula E and um, the idea was conceived on a piece of napkin and the rest is history. That was 2011 and the first piece was held in Beijing in 2014. Now, Agag, being a businessman and being one of the people that has helped him from Laon and some other motorsport um, strike deals in, with broadcasters and brands, was able to push in for that. One of the, his push was because a brand could not join Formula One because of Formula One is not green enough. So in bringing Formula E, his ideas and being signed by Jean Todt and being accepted made it easier for them to be able to start Formula E company. So he's the Formula E founder and the CEO. That's um, Alejandro Agag is the Formula E founder and was able to use his business as still to be able to get companies, get brands on the train and here they are. Years later, they're doing well. Also, one of the, the core thing he was able to, to do with his opportunity in Formula E is to sign a long year contract which will end in 2039 which makes them the only single seater Formula E championship to be racing which means Formula One will not be able to develop into electric cars which Formula One keeps developing every day and it's getting better they're getting greener and greener and um, I believe with time the electric engines will be able to add sound because a lot of people still love sound of pure engine in which so many um, electric car manufacturers of nowadays have tried to bring so many things, so many tuned artificial sounds to it. But we believe Formula E, with their own growth, they'll be able to do such. Formula E has um, less growth over the years because they are a new sport. They're just nine years in the business and they've really grown. And I believe for now, because they are really growing, their trajectory is growing up. Formula One trajectory is growing not up directly, but in a good format that is still thin ahead because they are growing and a lot of technologies have been brought in but with formula e the technologies will keep growing because they're a new sport technologies are coming in they're partnering with so many green companies with so many electrical companies with, with so many companies that are trying to go green from the native four we use which is going to give them a lot of growth in years and will help the, the electric car industry which is already helping them as it grows thank you that is the history of formula e when they still come we're coming with something different than formula e we love you Bye.